Hello and a warm welcome to the introduction of the laser course of Aachen University, which will deal with lasers as beam sources and corresponding applications. The videos have been put together over many months by many people and we indeed hope and trust that it will be a sound basis for you to learn and rehearse and have fun with laser technology. In the overview, I would just like to make three points. The motivation for the course, the outline of the contents, and a little on the chair for laser technology of Aachen University. The motivation actually stems from the vision of tailored light. Tailored light is a substitute for the idea of using the flexibility of this unique form of energy for many, many applications. And as you see in this view graph, we can tailor the light in terms of power, energy, spatial quality, that is focusability, temporal quality, pulse durations, pulse repetition rates, frequencies, and last not least, spectral quality, standing for the individual wavelengths that we can use in building corresponding lasers. On the application side, we focus basically on manufacturing technology, measurement technology, microelectronics, here especially EUV stands for extreme ultraviolet, the generation of very short wavelengths radiation for microelectronics, life sciences and space applications as well as environmental applications. Very important in this context is the arrow in the middle, the double arrow, connecting the two worlds and being the reason for the tailored in light for a better society. <clears throat> Why lasers? Why photons? We all know electricity is a wonderful form of energy, however, it is mass-bound. Electrons have a mass. The only form of energy in this whole universe which has no mass, which is not mass-bound, is electromagnetic energy. And light is a very special, high-focusable in space and time part of the spectrum of this electromagnetic form of energy. So in more detail, we talk about digital photonic production because in the application of photons, we work from the computer digital directly through the application of photonics into the application. That's also why we refer to bits, to photons, to atoms. In more detail, uh, we have the opportunity to handle the highest thinkable power densities, highest speeds, of course, speed of light, shortest interaction time, highest precision, down to femtoseconds or even attoseconds, as mentioned, we have no physical mass connected with the photons, so we have no mechanical forces, no mechanical tools, and the very good controllability directly from the computer-aided design into the product. Here you see an overview on the individual videos, and on the left you can see the videos which deal with the lasers, the beam sources. On the right you see the videos which deal with the applications. So we start with the general appearance of a laser beam, which is usually a Gaussian beam. We talk about the beam parameter product and the beam quality, the spatial beam quality, thermal radiation and laser radiation. And then we go into the lasers themselves, the laser principle, a little on the fundamentals, on the wave equations of electromagnetic radiation, Maxwell and wave equations, diffraction, and the properties of coherent and inter incoherent light interference and coherence, then again into the lasers themselves, the resonators, photon statistics, the rate equations, how to pulse resonators and last not least frequency conversion, which is the generation of individual tailored wavelengths in the corresponding resonator in the laser. On the application side, we begin very general with reflection, absorption and transmission, the fundamentals of interaction, 
then the reaction of the material in terms of solid state, that is heat conduction, the melt phase, which is melt pool dynamics, and the plasma phase, which is laser metal plasma interaction. After this, we go into the individual applications, starting with ablation and drilling, cutting, joining, and then we go to measurement technology and the latest applications, additive manufacturing and the application of ultra-fast lasers up to several kilowatts in average power, which, applied, which are applied now to materials processing applications. <coughs> the activity has been launched and started by the Chair for Laser Technology of Aachen University. And uh, at this point, I think it's very important to mention the team which has been part of this generation process. Many of the view graphs, the videos, the animations have been designed and prepared by a team. And the members of this team are Carlo Holly, Thomas Schwarz and Martin Walochnik. <coughs> this concludes the introduction to the videos on the laser courses in Aachen University Chair for Laser Technology on lasers and laser applications. Have an effective and pleasant learning experience in watching the videos or in short, have great fun. <laughs>